In a jam? Never fear, robots are on the way. You might remember from a previous Forward Thinking episode, we talked with Henrik Christensen, a robotics expert at Georgia Tech, and he mentioned the robotics challenge. Well, it recently concluded out in California, so you're probably wondering what happened? How did the robots do? First, I need to explain where the challenge came from. It was actually inspired by a real world event. When the Fukushima nuclear facility in Japan was hit by a tsunami, it suffered a meltdown in three of its six nuclear reactors, which created an incredibly dangerous situation for emergency responders to go into. So DARPA proposed a challenge, create a robot capable of responding to an emergency situation on its own. Now the benefits of using a robot are obvious. For one thing, you can send them into situations that would be dangerous or even deadly to humans and they might not even suffer a scratch. They could potentially save thousands or millions of lives in the process. But while robots find hazardous conditions a breeze, other things can be really difficult, like opening a door. So the robotics challenge was a series of eight tasks meant to simulate responding to an emergency situation. And here they are. The robot had to drive a vehicle to a destination. It had to get out of the vehicle. It then had to open up a door and walk through a doorway. Then it had to turn a valve 360 degrees counterclockwise. After that, it had to pick up an electric power drill and cut a predetermined shape out of a wall and it had to do a surprise task that wasn't revealed until the day of competition. For example, picking up a cable and plugging it into a wall. Then it had to walk through a field of debris and finally climb a set of stairs. Now the teams only had one hour for their robot to complete all of these tasks. And the robots could be autonomous, they could be remote controlled, or they could be some combination of both. To simulate a real emergency situation, DARPA also hampered communications, making a delay between when you could send and receive information with your robot. So out of those 23 teams that competed, only three were able to complete all eight tasks in under an hour. The winning team was from South Korea and their robot completed all the tasks in 44 minutes, 28 seconds. Now all the robots found certain challenges really tough to do, like using that electric drill or opening a door. This really illustrates that things that the average human finds easy are still really tough to solve in robotics. For example, I can tell how far away my hand is from a doorknob, so opening a door is not hard at all for me. I also know how to shift my balance when getting out of a vehicle, so that's pretty easy too. But with robots, the story's completely different. And if you search online, you're gonna find tons of videos and GIFs of these robots toppling over or collapsing for no apparent reason. And you might laugh or you might cringe, but personally, I actually find all of it inspiring because I see how the engineers and scientists are getting together to look at these challenges and how to overcome them. And this is how progress happens. So who knows, the next first responder might actually be a robot, and that's pretty cool. But I've got a question for you guys this week. Does this robotics challenge ease your mind about a potential robotic uprising when a robot can't even open a door? Or if you were to design a robot for the challenge, what would it look like? I wanna hear your thoughts in the comments below. Thank you Toyota for sponsoring our show. If you enjoyed this episode, please hit the like button, subscribe to Forward Thinking to join our think tank, and check out these other amazing videos right over here.